theories, but definitely some theories required. Okay, so we'll discuss that uh, theory, and then we'll uh, see the tool also. We'll we can see some example also in the tool. Okay, fine. Why RPA, guys? Uh, we all have our own set of uh, answer for this. That's why I asked this question to you. Why RPA? So we have our own theory, own history, futures about this question. Fine. Let's go further. RPA, robotic process automation. So guys, before jumping to our main topic of uh, today's demo, that is blue prism. Let us first discuss what actually RPA is. What actually RPA as a domain is. So in this slide, we'll discuss only about the RPA domain, and then we subsequently move to the specific tool, blue prism. Yeah, this is for blue prism. The blue prism. Fine. Let's start with the first circle. Your virtual employee. It is for the organization. Uh, this kind of an employee for the organization who work days, night, 24 into uh, 7 into 365. So definitely no any company will get the employee like this. Okay. So that's why more and more companies uh, joining this RPA, uh, jo uh, shifting their gear toward this RPA. Okay. On a lighter note, definitely there are many more reasons. We'll try to figure out those reasons also. Okay. Just to uh, uh, have an overview of what actually RPA is. Then second point is no physical robot. Guys, if you tell uh, some of your colleague, friend, relatives uh, who are not from IT field or maybe from IT field uh, know nothing about the RPA. In that case, if you tell them that you are working in robotics or RPA, they might get confused whether you are working on a robots uh, we work on. We have an industrial, industrial robot or we saw in movies. So it's nothing like that. It's purely a software robot working in your system in background or most probably on the alien server. Third point is this, time to market within a few weeks. If anybody here from the finance background, then he or she must know that, uh, that uh, she, he or she must hear this term, time to market. Time to market is uh, time required or time length required from requirement gathering to the actual product created. That is called time to market. If we compare the time to market uh, time span of RPA project with any of the legacy technology project like .NET, Java, SAP, mainframe, whatever, uh, if we take the example of a uh, more common technology like .NET Java, the smallest project or small project are around one year or two years. I've seen, uh, recently I was in Singapore, I've seen one uh, .NET project, uh, they were using some other technology also, that was running from last 14 years, okay, so quite long. In RPA, the project timeline or the modules timeline are uh, like six weeks, two months, three months. Why it is very small if we compare with the other technology? The answer is in the guys next circle. Use your existing application. Okay. Because here in the RPA, we are not developing the application. Applications already developed. We have to automate the steps involved in the application. Okay, we are not here to develop the application, guys. And we we must not that uh, not write the a legacy code, existing code, existing logic of the application. Okay, we have to just automate the steps involved in the application to go further. We have to make the things fast. Okay, so this is the whole purpose of the RP. Next point is no change in existing infra is needed. Yes, it is true uh, in both terms, software or hardware. In terms of software, we require a tool, whatever tool you are using of RPA. There are many RPA tools. In terms of uh, hardware, definitely require the system, whether it's a client system or your system, whatever. Let's take one example, guys. Or if we have worked with the Excel macros. Anybody who have not worked, please uh, tell me plenty so that I'll take some other example. Say something, guys. I have not worked with the Excel macro. In that case, let's take a different example of this. Uh, all uh, we as an end user, we go to ATM. Okay. Uh, we perform transaction, whatever we have to do, banking, we have to withdraw money or whatever, whatever option we have. Either we uh, press the button or either we touch the, whatever interface is given, uh, either we have to touch or we have to press the screen. Okay. So we as a human, we as an end user, just press the button or touch the screen, whatever interface is given. 
the RPA robot also mimic us, also mimic the human. So robot will also going to touch or press that button. It is not going to interfere with the existing logic or the code behind for that button. Isn't it? It is not going to, it is just click that button. Whatever existing code is there, that code will going to run as it is. Just it will uh, mimic the human. So this is the whole purpose of the RPA. Whatever existing code is there, existing logic is there. We're not going to touch that logic. We just have to automate the application. Okay. Robotic process automation. Fine. Next step, documents every step consistently. Yeah, so we have at many places in Groupism also, I will I'll show you that uh, we have at many places we can uh, set the status of the data, whether it's a pending, log, completed, exception. We can create the report. We can schedule the report. We can uh, set all the status. We can have the session log. Okay, so that I'll show practically also when we go to the tool. But at the overview of the RP, this is it, guys. So let's go in the next slide. Why BP? Okay, before BP or after RP, guys, can you tell me how many RP tools are there in the market? Any number, whatever you think. How many RP tools are there in the market? I think it's many and uh, popular is the Blue Prism, UI Path, Automation Anywhere. Uh, what do you I mean by many? Many is like... Uh, like uh, many means almost all five to six. Five to six, okay. Any other number, guys? Guys, any other number? Yes, there are many other uh, tools for automation, anyway, uh, like uh, Work Fusion, Vega, and uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm, yeah, I'm just asking yeah. some number. If you give me, me some number, okay. If you want to ask me the number, it's around uh, twelve to fourteen. Okay, fine. The number has been increased. Guys. So I got guys uh, two number five and twelve to uh, twelve to fourteen. There are around 45, more than 45 RP tool in the market. Okay. Now come to our topic. Why BP? So Blue Prism reduce process cost, increase speed, increase speed, improve accuracy, blah, blah, blah. Guys, we are living in the age of internet. Almost everything we can search over the internet. And you can easily search about any RP tool over the internet. And you will find that, you will figure out that more or less each and every tool will uh, claim like this only increase speed improve accuracy reduce process cost okay then why to choose bp that's the obvious question why bp here i just given the like formal introduction about the bp okay i personally don't like this slide but yeah i have to give um, one formal definition so that's why this slide is here but because there are more than uh, 45 rp tool okay and bp is quite a uh, very expensive also in that case why bp that answer is not there Okay, so we'll try to figure out that answer. So let's go further. And first of all, guys, I'm not going to say you that uh, because at this time you are having demo. So sometime when attending demo, we have we are in a dilemma which tool to join. Might be some of you are in uh, that situation also that which tool to join. So we are taking multiple demo. So I'm not going to give you any exact answer, but I give you the information. Based on that information, you can make up your mind. If we are working in a company, that company has chosen uh, some tool, some RP tool, and we want to remain in that company because of, of our com uh, comfort zone or whatever, then uh, we are bound to learn that tool. But if you are looking at the market, in that case, I can give you some information. Okay, you can make up your mind. If you are in a dilemma, okay, if you are in a confused state in, the, in that sense. Fine, 24 into 7 into 365. So this we have seen already. But guys, on this slide, uh, we have some keywords. Okay. 
security and scalability and one more robustness we have other also but i am just picking uh, these three or specifically security and robustness guys these two things are there if you search uh, uh, more about the blue prism or any other tool if you compare blue prism with any other tool surely you will get these two points security and the robustness somewhere these two uh, points will come up okay this is where bp has edge over all the above tools all the other available tool in the market security and the robustness and definitely any enterprise any uh, tier 4 or 5 company uh, first look for the enterprise security isn't it robustness these two things are the like first and second point and in both these points bp is bp have the edge above, above all the tools okay robustness i can tell you an example i'm not taking that name of that tool uh, one or 1.5 year back uh, when we are working with that tool sometime when we have to the when we have to create the large uh, data dependency either tool get hang itself we have to restart restart the tool or we have to restart the application or in the worst case we have to restart the system so that was very irritating time consuming our 25 to 30 percent development time goes in handling the tool itself so that was like very irritating however that tool also have its now upgrade version now this day and it's uh, much better uh, compared to that thing but if you compare with blue prism is definitely no any technology is 100 percent ideal okay bp also have some issue when we work with java application and those are not the issue bp already have just documented that how you have to go with all the application if you don't follow that best practice then it will count on you okay if in other tool we have issue like uh, 10 to 15 percent or 20 percent in bp it is like uh, 3 to 5 percent okay so quite robust i have uh, worked in more than uh, four more than four rp tool so on the basis of that knowledge i can just tell you or you can just search over the internet it is very easily available now this day you can uh, ask your seniors or if you met someone who have worked in more than one rp tool okay so please discuss that don't go on my words i'm just telling you and don't go on the words of any person these day from any institute or any trainer okay now this day very much fraud is going on in rp guys because a demand and supply is not matching there is mismatch in demand and supplies so people just learn somewhere or just took some training and start giving uh, training. If they can fulfill all your queries, then it's very good. But definitely if somebody have not worked deeply in any technology, I don't think he can answer your uh, question to a satisfactory level. Okay. So judge uh, trainer with your senses. Fine. This is the very like uh, very much uh, frequently asked question in each and every demo in each every class guys people ask this question so as such what is the prerequisite required to learn the blue prism or specifically is coding experience required for that guys i just added a slide okay sometimes people uh, came from a uh, testing background automation or manual people came from managerial background they did coding in very uh, starting of their career people are from operation background okay they want to switch their career so they reluct they have some reluctance from this question guys if anybody anyone we have in this batch also in this demo also who have this kind of reluctance in that case yeah, we have i have this doubt since the beginning of that yeah because i'm not from a c plus plus background i'm from i'm an electrical engineer and work yeah. in this automation yeah that's why i told you so i just create this ppt based on the question i'm getting based on the uh like q and a from the people so it's not a critical so based on the discussion i just get this uh, ppt so right in that case we have a good news uh it's like it is a code free and can automate any software in non-invasive way blah 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 it is a code free guys this term is quite misleading in blue prism also we have the option to write the code and we have the option to write the code in three different languages either c sharp or visual basics or j sharp but very important point guys but it is a best practice not to use code in your blue prism project sometime in some scenario we encounter situation where we have to hard code where we have to write something in that case we can use the code using any of uh, those three languages but it is always a best practice not to use the code if we encounter some situation 
if we have to write the code that must not be more than 5 to 10 percent of your complete project and that 5 to 10 percent is easily or very much easily internet full of, uh, full of like coding okay like uh, c sharp or bb but what is not available on the uh, internet or youtube whatever that is the 90 percent because that 90 percent is your logic you apply definitely you can't find your logic anywhere okay fine i recently uh complete one project that is for uh, anybody here from new york or anybody been to new york okay in new york there is a government department uh dob uh department of building so i did one project for that uh, department so in that we have to work with the linux we have to work with the mysql database over the mysql there okay we have to work with the website they have their website government website department of building you can just go to that website also uh they have window application also they have the mail structure also we have to automate all these things so, and i automate that project uh without a single line of code so uh in some day if you just when you come i can show you that project also fine okay guys go further fine let's come to figure figures uh, remain in memory for longer time at the center we have blue prism around we have some types of application so first is java it is www web application then it is wpf application wpf is window presentation foundation wpf application are part of dot in framework only okay for creating more user rich uh, application mostly desktop but we can create the browser also but mostly desktop then ipm mainframe application then window application sap lotus exchange excel thin client thick client almost all kind of application we can automate using blue prism and not in different project in, in a single project you can automate all this application okay so anybody here from uh, testing background automation testing background selenium qtp all these things no in all my demo i got one person at least one person from uh, that background so i got one question let me because if nobody's here from testing background so let me give you a question guys and then i'll give you an answer okay because i didn't get the question guys uh, people ask that uh, selenium is uh, freeware it is available free of cost okay and using selenium we can automate web application then they ask this question if we can automate web application using selenium and that is available free of cost then why at all to go to blue prism because blue prism is a most expensive rpa tool i'm not saying it is one of the most it is the most expensive rpa tool the license cost is heavy i'll tell the license cost uh, later also so why not to uh, just go for the selenium and why they are comparing because there also they have the term automation automation testing and here also we have the term automation robotic process automation okay that that's like it's a common human uh, behavior that we start comparing okay so guys yes we can automate web application using selenium or q2b or testing automation tool the thing is that we can only automate web application using selenium and that too with the thorough coding without coding you can't automate even a single step if we have to write the code then we can do anything isn't it so rp is mostly to increase the efficiency to decrease the time and to reduce uh, to like eliminate or minimize the coding okay and here guys in blue prism there only web application and that too with uh, thorough coding or the complete coding javascript i guess java or javascript and here almost all application with almost no coding okay so this is the difference Fine. so we have seen this slide let us see uh, the tool okay let's have some look and feel of the tool then we go further in the theory fine okay this is the great tool okay so these are called the component of blue prism home studio control room analytics earlier in latest version 6 uh, this name has been changed it was earlier dashboard okay you can see now it is analytics release system fine as a developer as a designer over 90 percent uh, task guys 80 to 90 percent time or task would be inside this 
studio component these are their names and these are their logo this is home this is home you can click you can open home from here also or from here also this is control and you can see this is control can you see the name it is hovering this is release this is release okay so let's come to studio now so our 80 to 90 percent task or time would be inside the studio component while automating any application in the studio we have something called processes and something called objects so we create process we create object and this is how we keep on automating or we automate any application fine let me show you this is the process i have this is the objects i have but let me show you a very basic example so that you can uh, you can get some idea and then i will show you some complex or real time project okay. fine so Guys, this project, uh, the simple thing is for the notepad. It will simply launch the notepad, write something on the notepad, and close the notepad. As simple as that. Okay. No coding is uh, written for this. And what you want to write, that you can uh, mention here. Hi, guys. Okay. So it was in the 8th April demo. So I just need to change the date. Okay, 20th April demo. Fine. Okay. Let us execute. So it will launch, right? It close uh, quickly. So please have an eye. Okay. So when it right, fine. It launches. It right. Can you see that? Twentieth April. So let's do one thing. Let me put a breakpoint over the close. Now close will not execute. We can see what it right. Okay. No. This time notepad is not there in the taskbar. Now notepad remain in the taskbar because we are not calling close. Okay, notepad is there. Hi guys, welcome to Blue Fusion Demo on 20th April 2019, 7.30. Okay, fine. This is a, a very simple example, okay. Um, this is the process I have opened, but in process, I'm calling objects. Okay, these uh, these boxes, rectangle boxes, these are called stages. And this is specific stage is action stage. Action stage is used to, this is a bit technical. I should not discuss this thing, but yeah, to give you an overview, process and object. Here I'm calling object. If you open the property, I'm calling object. Which object? Notepad. Okay, in that, which page or which action? Launch. Okay. Here also, same object, but the page is different. Okay. So, we have to get process and object both thing. Fine. Uh, let's see this. Okay, this is the example because even this small thing is also not possible in the Selenium. Okay, we have to now uh, we have some other add-ons from if we integrate with other tools, then you can automate. Okay, but not possible. Uh, even this simple project is not possible. Simple application is not possible. Simple automation is not possible in those tools. Those are for testing automation. Okay, this is not we are testing. We are automating the application. Okay, so don't compare thoroughly with any technology. It's completely a new domain, new technology, RPA. Okay, fine. And let me show you the real time uh, length and breadth of a project. Okay, then you will get some idea how the things are going on in live project. I just change the, I just rename the project. It's LP now, live project. Okay. So there we have only four or five those boxes. I'm using the term boxes because we have not started using a technical term. Okay, we have not learned those terms. That's why I'm just I'm remaining as a layman term. Okay, this is the okay. And this is only one page. We have this much of pages. Let us see. I 
and this is recheck this is only a sub process guys sub process means this process will be called from some other process let me show you this process uh, this three are a part of single project okay recheck post check and creation So this post check this again it is quite a bulky it is quite complex uh, like process but it is again as a sub process only both this process uh, these two process uh, themselves are very big uh, processes but here they are working as a sub processes these two process are being called in this process creation let me show you creation itself is a creation has its own bulk logic okay but it is calling these two process also. So down the line, if I go on the main page, first of all, this uh, this process have its own logic, multiple pages and this logic is fine. But this process is calling those other process also, pre-check and post-check. So if you go down the line, so here we are calling that pre-check process, okay? Which process we are calling? Pre-check. Okay, just select the process name, okay, here. And again, down the line, somewhere we have called the post check also. Here we have called the post check, which check, post check, fine. And guys, in total, all these three process creation, I just changed the name, guys, I'm calling them creation, pre check, process, uh, post check only. All these uh, three process together are calling around 75 business objects, okay. So this is how we create the project. Wherever you see this action stage, you remember in the notepad, I show you that we use that action stage to call object, if you remember. So these are called the action stage. Action stage is used to call the object. So wherever you see this action stage uh, or this rectangular box, it means I have called some object, okay? This is sending mail to the client, okay? This is the object SMTP or send mail. And let me show you any other object. This is some different object, sleep. Okay. Sorry. Okay. This is some other object. It is for utility, file management. So wherever you're seeing this uh, action object, this rectangle, uh, this stage, it means some object has been called here. So it is full of action stage only. Okay. And it is working only one object that is Excel. Uh, we have to extract the data from Excel file. So everywhere object will be extend, uh, this Excel only, Excel view, or you can open anyone, it is Excel only, okay? So different, different uh, sheets, action we are using, but object is same, okay? Fine. So no, don't bother that thing that we'll uh, discuss in detail. Okay, at this time, I don't want to be uh, technical. I just, I just want to give you a like overview, okay? So this is how we are doing. And let me show you how I give training. Uh, so for each batch, can you see this training folder? For each batch, I create one uh, folder uh, with time and date of start. I just keep on removing the batch which completed. So if I open any one, let's open any one. Okay, this one. So this is currently going on. So each and every class is a lab session only, guys. I personally don't like to discuss theory. Okay. So for certification, also I, uh, people sometimes ask for the certification. So I ask them if you practice whatever you are discussing in class, you can surely uh, get more than 885. Okay, I'm not claiming 100%, but yeah, because uh, might be sometimes they ask very critical, or might be I miss some theory, but or they uh, discuss some other theories, so that's fine. But you will get the concept. My whole motive is you get the concept. If your concepts are clear, you can clear the in interview. You can uh, do your well in your project, and you can. And do well in your certificate also okay so this is how we are going on so in the process i have to have the same hierarchy this uh, folder i have created uh, if i show you in the object uh, here also i do have the same hierarchy training and here i have folder for all the batches okay which are currently going on okay guys let's come back to theory sorry go to that slide Reportings and analytics. Okay, let us see this thing. So go to control room. 
here in the scheduler we have something called reports okay if i click on reports uh, you will see that reports are integrated with the calendar it means we can schedule the report you can schedule report and you can set the frequency also can you see that a kind of calendar came and you can set a frequency of report okay how whether weekly monthly daily for six months or for six weeks whatever you can set the frequency from here in the system uh, we have something called reporting keep daily stats for 30 days and monthly stats for six months like this okay frequency also you can set and i said you about the uh, if you remember in the very first slide i discussed about the status or report or data let me show you that also Oh, it is not there. Oh, let me execute one process to show you the logs. Okay, what log we have discussed something. It failed or whatever, but I want to show you the logs. Okay. Fine. It is done. So right click and view logs. Okay, this is how we get the logs. And what was the issue? The API here is actually so there is no wait stage there is no, because robot run very fast okay so your system cannot cope up with the speed of robot this is the same uh, process i show you from process studio but from control room it fails control room it is approx 10 times faster than the process studio okay so robot reaches to write on the application but application is still launching system is still launching the application that's why it failed that's not a matter that we'll discuss uh, technically but here my purpose is to show you the logs okay step by step start stage and then action stage then again action stage then action stage step by step okay so whenever wherever we got the error we can get in the logs okay fine let's come back to it now okay next is guys who else is there in the ring so what are the what are the rest in the ring so apart from blue prism so here i try to give you all the names which are also in hype apart from blue prism okay so we have ui path we have automation anywhere we have work fusion uh ip soft pega system saraton like this okay yeah. so these are also in hype okay guys here i try to compare the blue prism with other tools or for uh like mostly hype tool blue prism automation anywhere open span and ui path and you can see that uh, blue prism i recently updated chrome not supported can you see that this, uh, chrome not supported up to version 5 5.0.x 5. Uh, i guess 32 or whatever uh bp was supporting chrome uh, for small things uh, if you have to just do something on the chrome like mail or very small thing for that it was fine but if you are if you have your whole enterprise in the chrome uh, we were not supporting at that time so from version 6.0 bp has started supporting chrome fully and now i have yet to update this thing okay they are getting very fastly so in the latest version 6.4 bp now supporting firefox also okay so let me show you uh because in this system in the last uh, batch people asked uh, to take one class on the latest version so that's why i bring this laptop in this the things are not updated but this is for one client okay in this i do have the latest version 6.4 let me show you it is 6.4 okay and let me show you where you can see uh, the chrome are supported uh like point one project let's go to object Open any one of training uh, things. See, earlier we have window, Java, browser based application, only this part was written and mainframe. Now they have uh, bifurcated this browser based IE, browser based Chrome, Chrome of Firefox. Okay. This is the latest thing in the version 6.4. Firefox is the latest thing in the version 6.4. So people ask about the certification also so if you have any question about the certification you can ask otherwise this is the information it's not that uh, i'm an architect or manager i would i directly go to architect exam so we have to follow a hierarchy 
we have to clear the first level certification its code is ad01 okay developer certification so you have to clear this certification to be eligible for next certification okay so we have to follow hierarchy earlier uh, like in two, up to 2016 or 17 yeah up to 2017 i guess uh, there was some restriction from rupism if you are not part of uh, any company who is not part, if, if you are not part of that company who is partner with the blue prism so you can't create your account on the blue prism portal and if you can't create your account on blue prism portal you can't register for certification okay and other things were uh, suppose you are part of organization which is partner with the blue prism and you create your account on the blue prism at that time we had to wait for three months uh, to be eligible for first level certification after clearing first level certification, then we had to wait for six months uh, to be eligible for next level certification. They restrict this time so that people practice, okay? But now this day, all this restriction has been revoked. You can give certification tomorrow and you can give next certification day after tomorrow or even on the same day, okay? And now you can create your account on the BB portal using your personal mail ID, okay? So maybe when you create account using personal mail ID, at that time, you don't have access to all the things. But when you create your account from your uh, official mail ID and your company is partner with the Blue Prism, then you get uh, access to all the guides or uh, documents for the Blue Prism. Fine. So this is the thing. Fine. Okay, guys. However, I asked you to just ask the question as we go on. But still, if you have any question, so we have this delicate time for Q and A. You can ask now. Uh, hi, this is Kartik. Yep. Yeah. Ram, I have a technical question. Hmm. Okay. So I have for like project, and I have within project I have multiple uh, objects, sub objects. So can I call uh, multiple sub object uh, like for an action, and I can have an action with uh, like multiple sub objects from, from one, different from, different. from one from one action you can call one object. If that object is calling some other object, that's fine. Mm hmm. From one object. Okay one action state you can call only one object you have worked with blue prism or you have this question just now uh just now i have a question i have not i have not worked on blue prism so why are you asking this and, question uh, now? Just have, uh, no just okay. got a query about uh, when you shown your screen no? so i just got a question okay. i'm asking you this question okay fine let me show you uh let's open anyone uh okay so this is recently started uh this is Okay, here I'm calling some object. With one action stage, let me take this action stage. Okay. I have the option to select the object. So select the option. These are the object in my system. Okay. These are the action uh, object list. You can select any object, but you can select only one object. I like this point. Suppose I select this object. In this, I can call all these actions. Action means the pages in that object. Okay. So you, suppose you call this. So whatever this action is asking, uh, give that input, save the output. From one action stage, you can call one object. If this object is calling some other object, that is uh, sub hierarchy, I said uh, sub object. Okay. In that case, if you go to the hierarchy, it will call this object. That we call a uh, sub object. So that hierarchy will go on. But from one action stage, you can call only one object. Okay. okay, it answers. And uh, one more question actually. Uh, I can have uh, multiple actions, and uh, like suppose I have uh, actions, and uh, I can reuse that action to a different project. So I've created one action for specific to that particular project, and I have different projects, and the actions are quite similar, and the actions are customizable. So can I reuse that action to a different project? Definitely, this is what we are, this is the best practice, okay. So this is always told that keep, let me show you this example very technically. This is a technical question, we should not uh, discuss this question at this time, but yeah, you ask this question, see. There is an application, uh, let me go to object. So we have to launch the application, we have to log into the application, and then we have to close the application. And see, I put launch on the separate, separate page, I put login on the separate page, I put close on the separate page. I can do this on, on one single page also, but I just tell them it is the best practice, uh, to keep them on a separate page because in this way we can uh, reuse this if we want only launch then we can call this page only but if you place all these things on one page in that case 
this that page is used only one scenario launch login close suppose uh, your requirement is you have to only open the notepad whatever you have to write in the notepad that data is coming from some other application in that case if you have create your launch on separate page it can be reusable Did you get support? How did you get support? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 Ram. Uh, sure, uh, sure uh, uh, See, this is the launch page. If I only want to launch, okay, I can only call the launch. Uh, remove this because these are uh, now only uh, it will launch the notepad, nothing else. Okay. But if you have created this launch, these are the uh, Create it separately. Launch, uh, close, uh, write. Okay. And let me mix up this. Let me put this on the same page. Uh, write is this uh, in which I'm writing in the note one. Note one is where actually I keep on changing. People are asking something, so I just made the changes. This is note. Okay, not the note one. Note only. This is okay. So copy this. Copy this and put on the launch. Okay, so now I do the launch here and right also there and put the close also there. Copy this. Okay, so now everything on the same page. Not as a best practice, but just to show you the answer. You remember in the control room it got failed it got failed because uh wait stage was not there let us uh, save this okay this is launch fine reset this uh now in the launch it is already updated now run this it launches close very quickly isn't it because everything on the same page that is the one thing after right also uh, give some fault because we can see that what it is writing save this and what it is writing uh, this is the default data this is first interaction of bo with 9 am or whatever Received. Refresh. Okay. It launches. Can you see that now? It had the same data and it is waiting for three seconds now because we have put the wait. Earlier it was very fast. Okay. So this is not the best best practice what I did. Okay, now. Okay. So previously it was as per best practice. That was my launch. Okay. And I can use that launch in any of the project. It is just launching the notepad. You can use this action. You can call this action from any project in your environment. Okay. I'm not sure why you're confused. If you're confused, that's your issue because you are this thing. I should not discuss this thing. This is a bit technical because uh, at demo, we should not discuss technical. But yeah, if you are fine to ask question, I'm fine to give the answer. Actually, clarify, Sam. I'm very much clear about this. And uh, just point I raised because, you know, I had a query uh, regarding this concept. So my point was like, you know, I have added an object and I just wanted to reuse it across the different yeah, projects. See, this is the best. See, you can see all the objects I have created as for the best practice. Okay, I keep the things separate, launch separate, write separate, and close separate. In other application, I also show you launch separate, login separate, close separate. Okay, so I show you both the things to the guys. Okay, uh, whether I do all in one or one thing at a, at a page. Okay, so I always create object uh, so that it can be reused again and again. Fine. I restructured it, the previous things. Okay. What else, guys? 
Yes, uh, I have a one question uh, regarding just now what I saw is that like when you are walking through the process, right? So you showed uh, sleep action stage and also we have uh, weight in my ob uh, in your objects also. So what is the uh, simple difference between the sleep and the weight? Uh, actually, weight is not available in the process. Okay. So in process, if we have to give the, uh, some time, then we have to use the sleep. Uh, sleep is the object we can use directly, but okay. weight, is, weight, is not, weight is not there in the process. This is the process. Let me open one process and let me open one object also side the sleep. So on the left hand side, it is process, on the right hand side, it is object. Mm -hmm. This is the weight stage. The weight stage is not there here. In the so sometimes if you require to uh, put some halt here in the process with the weight, with the sleep. Okay. No, but uh, like uh, if you can see uh, in the process, we do have a weight stage uh, in one of the environmental action stages. What I remember. In process, we can't have the weight stage. There is no weight stage. Weight stage, I, I give understand. in the. Yeah, yeah, I do understand. So there is a separate object. I would, uh, what I remember, because like I was yeah, go going through some object. of the. There is an the object uh, called file in the file routine. There is an action called sleep. If in process, we have to provide some halt specifically. We don't have to call any object. Then we use the sleep action. Okay. Function is same. Function is same because we have to halt the execution. But uh, okay. it's not there in the process. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. And uh, uh, one more thing, I do have a question. So, uh, like, uh, uh, we have in all the action stages, right? Uh, we do have a condition. So, input, output, and a condition, right? Mm. So, uh, like, uh, I'm very new to this. So, I just wanted to know what is the condition that what we need to give because, uh, like, I was going through some of the YouTube videos that what what all they have provided, but uh, just wanted to have a, a condition is a condition is for your own reference. Okay, uh, there is a not condition. There is a precondition and post. Yeah, that is what uh, okay. Might be want to write something here okay, for, uh, before running this process or running this state. What should the precondition? What should the data? Okay, it is for your reference or for the reference of other developer. Might be any other reference. So these are the notes we write uh, for our reference or for the other developer reference. What should the precondition? What should the post condition after? Okay, precondition should be data it should be of number type. We are adding this. Post condition should be uh, when we got the answer. This answer has been sent to some other process. This process. So this condition you can write. Okay. So it is as, nothing as, doing as with as the as not required. Okay, fine. So it is nothing doing with uh, what, what when we run the process, right? When we run the Technical, process. No technical interference. It is just a note or description. Okay. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Fine. What is this? No question, guys. I'm waiting for one more minute, guys. Just one more question, actually. Uh, Ram, how uh, can deploy this uh, uh, automated script? Uh, can, uh, like on, uh, this is Karthik or Malika, guys. I don't know whether it's for me only, but the voice was not clear. It was breaking some placement. I'm not able to use. This is Karthik or Balika Ojan. Both microphone are uh, guys on. Please, guys, uh, mute your microphone if you're not having. Okay. Yeah, Karthik, please. Uh, so, Ram, my question is uh, how we can deploy this uh, automated script? Uh, like, you know, should be on target environment. On? Target environment. Like, suppose if I wish to uh, deploy this automated script on uh, some certain environment, like on production or pre production environment. 
Release file BP release. The extension is dot BP release only. BP release or XML. Two types of. If you have single file, then it is XML. If it is more than one file, then it is dot BP release. Fine. Karthik, clear? Yes, yes. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, uh, Ram, I have a one question to you. So, like, uh, how is this uh, authentication and authorization works? Or is uh, you told that security is scalability, right? So, I was just in curious of how authentication, authorization, like, how the encryption or uh, so in Blue Prism, uh, we have three. They have given the three encryption scheme: AES two five six. Triple DES and uh, R Jindal, the uh, newly added. Okay, there is a hash algorithm. Based on that, you can choose your uh, hash algorithm, and based on that, uh, they encrypt your data. Let me show you. Uh, where is that? System manager in encryption speed. Okay, so it is not resolved right now. Let me do that. I just show you. I'll not do in my system because this is the client system. So I'm just giving you. Okay. Okay. The program file group is limited. Group is automated. Uh, there is something called BP server service. Okay. BP server. Okay. Let us do that. Okay. Let me put that. I have to uh, sign up from Blue Prism. Key store, new. Okay, let me show you all those encryption schemes. A as I told you, AES two five six triple DES and AES RGN. So this is the recently added. These are the hash algorithm or encryption scheme based on which BP uh, encrypt your data. So you can generate the key based on any of the key. You can select this one. You can select this one. Okay, whatever you want to do. Okay, so it's your choice. So using retired encryption method is not recommended. Okay. This is the first one. They are using the like early version also, and this is the latest thing. So let's suppose uh, do this and give some name to this thing. Uh, guys, please mute your microphone if you are not having doubt. Okay. Thank you. Uh, generate key. Some key has been generated. Let me copy this key. Press Control C. Okay. Click Save. Save. Fine. And close this. Now come to Blue Prism. Earlier it was like unresolved, isn't it? Let us resolve that. System Manager. Encryption Scheme. Edit. It was this one only. Control V. Uh, copy that. Uh, paste that key here. The scheme name is that's fine. Can you see it is now resolved? So based on this key now, your data will be encrypted. You can encrypt. Yeah, you can encrypt credential. You can encrypt queues. Uh, let me show you where you are encrypted. So here is the queue. Okay, default is this now. It is has been set everywhere. Okay, once you resolve there in the key, it will resolve everywhere. So this you can do. There's internal function, but uh, this is what we can do. Okay, so if you know this uh, hash algorithm, then you know this thing how these are working. Fine. Did I answer you or confuse you more? I don't know. Because this is something like uh, very, uh, very much technical at at this level when we are discussing. But yeah, if you ask this question, that's fine. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, I guess if we have no doubts, so are we good to go in that case? Or you have any question, guys?